Hey there, video to page helps you quickly transform video and audio content into well-organized web pages, tutorials, or blog posts. This tool is perfect for content creators, businesses, and educators who need to repurpose video materials efficiently. When you come to our first page, you can use either a YouTube upload or a manual upload file upload, or you can record directly inside the browser. I have here a knitting uh, tutorial. Uh, let's try it now. After the sign up, everything starts already. Um, and we can already start choosing. So in video to page we have uh, several content types. We focus on blogging, on content creation, on educational content and bare transcription. So for example, in blogging we have long-form blog posts, listicles, how-to guides, case studies and so on. The content creation part has also similar items and education is more focused on a multi-page course or tutorials and we have uh, bare transcriptions or video digests. So if you put some uh, video in you want to know everything about it, you can use a video digest. Um, in this tutorial that I uploaded, it's basically a knitting tutorial, so we will just uh, hit the how-to guide as a blog post. If it would be a more um, sophisticated tutorial, we could uh, take uh, this tutorial course, which would create multiple pages. But in this case, we will just uh, select the how-to guide. And as you can see, it um, first uh, extracts the uh, header image, then we will see soon the title that gets generated, and also um, the individual sections. So it outlines all the content first, and after it has all the outlines, it will start generating each content piece or each section individually. What you will also notice is that um, each section is very dynamic in how it's uh, structured. So you can see it's not a regular blog post. It's a really beautiful one with uh, list items, with uh, focus on step by step, with some quotes. We have also here some links and uh, we have the points, in, like the time frame steps where we can jump uh, to the video. What you can also see is that the tool automatically inserts images into your blog post. So here, for example, we see a screenshot. Here we see one. And at the end, we see also one, also with uh, nice links. Now, if you want to change something, you can go to the editor. And here you will see all the outlines. You will see the tools that were used to generate the section. So for example, for the introduction, let's look again in the preview. Here the introduction, uh, we used a how-to guide. Here are materials needed. We also used an how-to guide for the casting stitches and so on. As you can see also, we extracted or the tool extracted the quotes that uh, might be relevant and it extracted uh, the outline. So basically outline in the um, sub outlines, right? You can also see that the AI assistant um, responded with the creation of the whole process. So that's an important part to mention is that the AI tool, like the AI assistant did all the work. So if you don't like anything about this, you can just start talking to the AI and uh, request changes. What you can also see is that uh, we recognize the language uh, and the tone. And uh, if you want to change that, we can just do that just by writing it uh, manually out um, and hit save. Then the whole content uh, will get uh, regenerated. We can also change the full template uh, and then this will regenerate the whole page. Uh, it will create a new outline. It will create new sections and so on. We have a summary here that summarizes the content that we have here. We have SRT that you can download. That's basically a subtitle file. Uh, we have the full transcription. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Now what uh, you can do is you can manually change all the contents or as I said, you can uh, ask the AI to do so. You can use uh, just typing or you can start um, uh, describing it uh, using your voice. So for example, you, you can see conclusion and next steps and we can say uh, for the conclusion, please make the generator a conclusion and remove the quote. So now we send it and uh, we will see that um, the AI immediately uh, turned this conclusion to the conclusion generator and it removed the quote. So now the AI behind this content piece will not uh, output a quote anymore. Now we need to still hit the generate button here, uh, but we can go to the preview already. And if we scroll down, you will see that the conclusion and steps uh, is getting generated right now. Now, if we hit edit section, we will uh, see uh, just the conclusion content, uh, which we can edit here. For example, we can uh, change the image here. We can go to the gallery and uh, for example, uh, either this or that or this, or we can uh, simply uh, select screenshots directly. So we can, for example, take this screenshot here because this seems to be like the website of the owner. And a nice thing is here that we can uh, also crop it and we can edit the image by um, making it, for example, like a 101 or 43C and give it a little bit of padding 
and the colors could be more like what we have in the image. So now it fits more uh, the style and we can give it also a nice border radius. Hit the save changes and save image. So now you have a nice fitting uh, image for the conclusion. In the end, you can also uh, share the content publicly. So you can hit here the show video, you can make it public, you can also hide branding, and you can define the SEO title uh, and SEO description, but in general, they are there. You can also add your custom logo. When you hit generate link, uh, the AI will then generate a public link that you can share with others. Let's hit open. So on I, now you can see that we have here this nice uh, content uh, page, the blog basically that describes all your content. And um, you can also jump to the specific points. So if you watch the video, you can go directly to certain areas. For example, here um, we have the tips maintaining tension and control. If we hit that, you will see that we will jump to, um, to the right spot.